We often encounter moments where the divine plan seems as clear as the stars on a serene night. At times, this clarity is presented through the profound connections we share with certain individuals. It's in these moments that God communicates His intentions for us, showing us who might walk beside us, not just as a companion, but as a covenant partner in marriage. Yet observing the behavior of those we're drawn to, doubt may cloud our certainty. Their actions might stir questions within us about the affirmations we felt were from God. Remember, though, the Lord's vision surpasses the bounds of time. He has beheld their past, their trials, and the fragile strands of hope they clutch regarding love. Through this divine insight, God offers you a unique opportunity to be the bearer of His light, teaching them once more the essence of beauty and love. God invites us to see the potential partners as they truly are, imperfect, just as we are, yet worthy of love and grace. In this divine orchestration, God does not dictate our choices, but offers them. He never imposes His will forcefully, especially concerning who we choose to spend our lives with. Thus, if your heart feels a deep, genuine connection that aligns with God's whisper, consider this your call to act in love, patience, and understanding. Imagine the transformative journey of loving someone not solely for who they are today, but for who they can become with you by their side. This isn't about changing them, but rather helping them grow in love as you grow alongside them. Your love imbued with kindness and steadfastness might just be what they need to begin reflecting the love you so richly give. This journey promises to be rewarding, as true love often is when rooted in faith and divine guidance. Don't lose heart when the path seems arduous. Those who have walked in obedience to God's will bear testimony to the profound joy and fulfillment it brings. You too will find that your faithfulness in this season of challenge will lead to a harvest of joy and peace. Cling to this promise as you persist in love. For God's not one to bring you this far, only to abandon you. He is with you, fortifying your spirit with every step you take. Should you ever find yourself wavering, remember the patience of Job, the wisdom of Solomon, and the enduring faith of Abraham. Like these faithful servants, your journey too is underpinned by a divine purpose, one that unfolds beautifully in God's timing. Lean not solely on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord to guide your heart and actions. He will equip you with all you need to love profoundly and unconditionally, even when it seems most difficult. This is not merely about finding love, but about embodying the love that Christ has shown us. As you continue to navigate this path, keep your eyes fixed on the principles of Scripture. Let them guide your decisions and interactions, ensuring that your relationship stands as a testament to the steadfast love and grace that flows from our Creator. If you find your heart strangely drawn to someone, it's vital to pause and seek God's purpose in it. Does this connection encourage you to exhibit Christ-like qualities such as unconditional love, patience, and selflessness? These virtues are not just noble. They're expected of us as followers of Christ. Consider that sometimes the journey of your heart might be a lesson rather than a destination. God could be using your affection for someone who may not reciprocate it immediately as a way to refine your character, testing your ability to love without immediate return. This process is similar to how a parent teaches a child, correcting and guiding out of love for their betterment. It's also possible that God wants you to experience the pain of unrequited love, to develop empathy and understanding for those who face rejection. Such experiences, while painful, are valuable in shaping a compassionate and understanding heart. Through all these scenarios, remember that God's timing is perfect. 
He will not move you forward with someone until he sees the growth he desires in you. And if it's not his will for you to be with that person, trust that he'll lead you out of that situation. Just as a loving father would remove his child from a harmful environment. In our walk with Christ, every experience, especially in matters of the heart, serves a purpose. We are called to embrace those lessons with faith, trusting that God's plans for us are for our ultimate good and His glory. God's omnipresence is a foundational truth in understanding His ways with us. He's involved in every detail of our lives, using every situation to draw us closer to Him and teach us valuable lessons. One of the most mystifying yet profound ways He does this is through the relationships He guides us into. Often, these relationships are not just about mutual affection, but serve a higher purpose in God's grand design. Have you ever wondered why you feel a deep connection to someone who doesn't seem to reciprocate your feelings? This might feel like a one-sided affair, yet it's laden with divine intentions. God uses these interactions to teach us about unconditional love, the kind of love that gives without expecting anything in return. In a world that increasingly looks inward, focusing on self-gratification and individualism, learning to love selflessly is a lesson many of us need to relearn. Consider this. The person you're drawn to might be struggling to understand what true love means. Perhaps their past is marred by betrayal, or they've been disillusioned by superficial relationships. Their understanding of love might be distorted by pain or mistrust, making them wary of genuine affection. Here's where you come in, chosen by God not just to feel love, but to demonstrate it. Your role isn't to receive love initially, but to be an instrument of God's love to someone else. As you show love to this person, remember, it's not about changing them or expecting them to love you back immediately. It's about reflecting Christ's love through your actions. In doing so, you're not only helping heal another's heart, but also growing in your capacity to embody the love of Christ. This process isn't easy. There will be moments of rejection, moments when your love is misunderstood as having strings attached. But persevere, knowing that in this divine assignment, you're being molded into a more Christ-like figure. Why is this important? In loving someone who seems incapable of loving back, you're echoing the very essence of God's love for us, a love that is steadfast, sacrificial, and sometimes not reciprocated by us. Through your journey, you may be the only Bible this person ever reads, the only Jesus they see, and through your loving, their heart may soften and their spirit may revive. God doesn't direct us randomly. Every person in our life, every interaction, is a thread in the larger tapestry of our spiritual journey. Loving someone who doesn't love you back isn't a divine oversight or a celestial mistake. It's a calling to live out the kind of love Jesus demonstrated on the cross. Unconditional, unrelenting, transformative. And it's through this love that both you and the person you care for can find true healing and fulfillment. Embrace this divine mission with faith, patience, and courage, knowing that God's purposes, though sometimes mysterious, are always for our growth and His glory. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 We are taught a profound definition of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. The scripture not only enlightens us about the nature of true love, but also acts as a divine mandate for how we're to love one another. 
mirroring the unconditional love that God extends to us, regardless of our shortcomings. Why then might God prompt your heart to cherish someone who seems indifferent to your affections? The answer lies in the very essence of God. Scripture reveals God as the epitome of love, a boundless, ceaseless force that loves without condition. This celestial love was so immense that even when humanity turned away, God's love remained steadfast. He showcased His ultimate devotion through the sacrifice of His only Son, setting an example of love's true capacity. Consider Jesus' words in John 10.34. Is it not written in your law, I said you are God's? Here Jesus elevates us, reminding us of our divine capacity to represent His love on earth. We are imbued with the potential to embody Christ's love in all interactions, be it with a friend, spouse, or a stranger. Emulating Jesus, we're called to extend love even when it's not reciprocated, embracing our role as reflections of God's love in the world. Loving those who do not love us back is undeniably challenging. It tests our patience, humility, and resilience. It can push us to our limits, stir frustration, and sometimes might even tempt us to withdraw our love. However, it's precisely in these trials that our love becomes more Christ-like. For just as Christ loved us while we were yet still sinners, we too are called to love unconditionally. This path is not for the faint of heart. It demands a deep spiritual endurance and a surrender of the ego. It requires an understanding that this kind of love is not about receiving, but about giving freely, as Christ did. It's about lowering our defenses, opening our hearts, and allowing God's love to flow through us. By loving as God loves, we fulfill a higher calling, transforming not just our lives, but those around us. Engaging in this divine love affair might mean seeing beyond immediate reciprocation and focusing on the eternal perspective. It's about trusting that every act of love plants a seed that can grow beyond our understanding. It's embracing hope, even in the face of apparent rejection, knowing that our love, anchored in Christ, can lead to healing and redemption. Let us then be courageous in our love. Let us love deeply, as deeply as Christ loved us, and in doing so, become beacons of His light in this world. For in loving the unlovable, in forgiving the unforgivable, we become more than just followers of Christ. We become His embodiment on earth, carrying forward His legacy of unconditional love. This, beloved, is why God may be urging your heart towards someone. It's not just about the relationship itself but about becoming a living testament to the love that has the power to alter hearts, transform lives, and transcend the ordinary. It's about answering a higher call to love as He loves, with patience, kindness, and enduring hope. In the journey of life, guided by faith and the teachings of Christ, it's pivotal to recognize the signals that God sends us especially when it comes to forming bonds that are meant to last a lifetime. Among these divine signs, one stands out with clarity and certainty. The presence of a person in your life who embodies the virtues and attributes celebrated in Galatians 5, 22-23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. This isn't about stumbling upon a perfect being, but meeting someone whose life reflects the very fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Imagine encountering someone whose essence resonates with the deepest desires you've whispered in your prayers. This individual not only shares your commitment to faith, but amplifies it. 
encouraging you towards a closer relationship with God. Such a person doesn't just appear. They are a gift, a clear indication that God's hand is at work in your life. When you find yourself growing spiritually, drawn closer to God through your interactions with them, it's more than mere coincidence. It's a divine orchestration. True companionship and faith means walking a path together where each step brings you closer to God, not further away. It's about nurturing a relationship where God is the cornerstone and your mutual dedication to serving Him strengthens your bond. The person God's intended for you will inspire you to pursue Christ with more vigor and conviction. Their lifestyle, grounded in Christ-like values, will serve as a beacon, guiding you towards living a life that mirrors the love and sacrifice of Jesus for the church. This divine connection is not about compromising your spiritual integrity, but enhancing it. In a world where distractions are plentiful, God's choice for you will lead you away from temptations that could derail your focus from the spiritual and communal obligations. Together, your relationship will exemplify the profound love Christ has for the church, a love that's selfless, unwavering, and redemptive. Hence, if you cross paths with someone who not only cherishes God's Word but lives it, influencing you to deepen your faith and commitment to God, embrace it as a clear sign from the heavens. This is not about finding a partner who is simply compatible in worldly aspects, but one who's a true spiritual companion, chosen by God to journey with you in faith, love, and service to the divine mission. You meet someone and it turns out that they're not just attending a church, but it's either the same one you go to or another that holds fast to the teachings very much like your own. This isn't a mere coincidence. It's a nudge from the divine signaling that your paths didn't cross by chance. Participation in ministry activities, whether it's in the same congregation or in different roles, reinforces this divine hint. It's as if the pieces of a puzzle are falling into place, showing that your joint service to the Lord isn't random. It's a clear marker of God's plan for you to unite. God's intentions for us are often confirmed through the actions and characteristics of those He brings into our lives. When you observe that someone embodies the love, kindness, patience, honesty, and other virtues extolled in Scripture, it's a significant sign. These aren't just desirable traits. They're the blueprint for a relationship founded on God's Word, aiming towards a marriage that honors Him. The Bible isn't just a collection of stories. It's a guidebook for life, including our relationships. When you meet someone who not only believes in God but lives out that belief, dedicating themselves to His cause. It's as if God Himself is pointing towards them and saying, This is the one I've chosen for you. Mutual respect is key in any relationship, but even more so in the one that God ordains. A partner chosen by God will respect your individuality, your decisions, and your spiritual journey without imposing their own views or desires over yours. In a world where selfishness often prevails, Finding someone who values your opinions, supports your beliefs without critique, and maintains their own faith confidently is rare. Yet this mutual acceptance and respect are hallmarks of a relationship God wants to flourish. It signifies a bond not just between two people, but with God at its center. A trinity of sorts where love, understanding, and faith intertwine. Let's remember, our journey towards love and partnership is not just about finding someone who matches us in hobbies or interests, but in someone whose heart beats for God just as ours does. Such a relationship isn't a mere connection. It's a divine communion, sanctified and blessed by God. It's a testament to the belief that when God crafts a union, it's built to last, grounded in the principles of His eternal love. This isn't about following a trend or adhering to what's modern in Christianity. It's about holding on to the timeless truth that God's guidance is perfect in leading us to our life partners. When we find someone who not only believes in the sanctity of marriage as depicted in the Bible, but also lives out the love described within its pages, we're not just finding a spouse. We're embracing God's gift to us, a partner ordained from above, meant to journey with us, not just in this life, but in the pursuit of eternity with Christ. 
Do not forget that this isn't just about choosing someone who appears right in the eyes of the world. It's about recognizing God's hand and bringing two souls together, united in faith, love, and purpose. When God signals to you through these divine hints, take heed. It's His way of showing you a path to a union blessed by Him, a relationship built on mutual faith, respect, and divine love, a love that not only reflects His heart, but also leads you closer to Him, together. When conversation flows effortlessly between two individuals unhindered by the fear of misunderstanding or judgment, it's more than just good chemistry. It's a sign, a whisper from the heavens, indicating that your souls were meant to journey together. This ease of communication, especially after initial stages where conversations are often laced with caution, signifies a deeper connection. It's in these moments of sharing dreams and aligned visions for the future, through discussions that might challenge the average bond, that God's hand in bringing you together becomes undeniable. Feeling at peace in someone's presence, where masks fall away and your true self shines brightly, is not just comforting, it's divine confirmation. The tranquility that envelops your heart in their company is God's way of reassuring you. This is the one. It's about finding home in a person where fears dissipate and love resides. Now consider the serendipity of repeated encounters. Meeting someone once might be a chance, but crossing paths time and again in different places under various circumstances? That's providence at work. These aren't mere coincidences. They're markers on the path God's laid out for you, leading you towards someone whose presence in your life is becoming a constant, someone whose spirit seems to echo your own. God's matchmaking is both mysterious and miraculous. He orchestrates our steps so that we find ourselves in the same locations, not out of random chance, but through divine guidance. It's His way of drawing our hearts closer, of fostering encounters that build into beautiful, shared experiences. The opportunities to spend time together, growing in familiarity and fondness, aren't just happy accidents. They're divinely appointed moments meant to weave your lives together. As you go through the journey of life, always seeking signs of God's will for your companionship, remember that the strongest foundations are built on shared faith, open hearts, and the willingness to see God's hand in every meeting, every conversation, every shared silence. It's in these divinely guided interactions that true, enduring love is found and nurtured. So, when you find yourself marveling at how often your paths cross with someone special, take a moment to consider that perhaps it's not chance, but a gentle nudge from above, guiding you towards a future together, blessed and ordained by the Creator Himself. In this journey of togetherness, let faith be your compass and love your destination. When you find yourself in the company of someone whose presence ignites a sense of peace, joy, and mutual respect, take a moment to consider the possibility that this might just be more than a coincidence. The way they resonate with you, expressing affection either through words, actions, or both, can often be a clear marker of God's guidance. The scripture reminds us that love is patient, kind, and devoid of envy. Such traits should be evident in the person God has intended for you. God's plan for us is not shrouded in confusion or uncertainty. If there's someone in your life making a sincere effort to be part of it, showing a desire to grow together in faith and love, this could very well be the signs you've been praying for. This individual won't be someone who just fits into your schedule, but someone who earnestly seeks to make time for you, prioritizing the relationship because they see a future with you under God's loving grace. In the same light, the clarity with which someone can envision a life with you, sharing dreams and setting foundations for a shared life, speaks volumes of their commitment. God doesn't lead us to someone who's uncertain about us or who harbors doubts about committing to a relationship. The one meant for you will see your value, cherish your presence in their life, and fear the thought of losing you to another. Moreover, it's essential to recognize that mutual interest is a cornerstone of any relationship blessed by God. It's not enough for one to feel drawn towards the other. Reciprocation is key. When both individuals find themselves equally invested in exploring the depths of their connections, willing to take steps towards building a future together, 
It signifies a harmonious union favored by the divine. This mutual attraction isn't merely about liking each other on a superficial level, but is rooted in a shared desire to nurture a relationship that aligns with God's purpose for love and companionship. It's about recognizing in each other a partner for life's journey, someone to grow with spiritually, emotionally, and personally. Remember, God's intentions for us are always for our utmost good. He guides us gently towards those who will not only enrich our lives, but also draw us closer to Him. Thus, when you sense a deep mutual connection that encourages growth, faith, and unconditional love, trust that God may be leading you towards a blessed union with the one He's chosen for you. Let His wisdom guide your heart, for in His divine timing and perfect plan, He reveals the true path to love and companionship. A dear friend of mine would often ask me, Do you think God wants me to find lasting love? Even though I often say yes, I know how heavy that question is. This friend, maybe like you, loves the Lord and aims to live a good life. She's been blessed in many ways, but hasn't had much luck in love. She's eager to find the man God has in mind for her and settle down. A few years back, she found someone who felt like her soulmate, and they were together for a long time. But then, she discovered some painful truths about him, leaving her heartbroken as he moved on with someone else. It took her nearly two years to heal from that hurt. A few friends and I had to consistently be there to support her, reminding her to trust God for the best. Today, although she's still single, she sometimes wonders if God has someone for her or if He'll restore her lost love. In this short video, I want to share the same encouragement I give my friend when we hang out. Picture us having this conversation and let these words reassure and guide you to where God wants you to be. Firstly, I want to assure you that God will lead your soulmate to you at the perfect time. But wait, who exactly is your soulmate? Is it someone destined just for you since birth? Is there a person out there with your name on them? Despite the many misconceptions about soulmates, they are real and God does bring them into our lives. Your soulmate is essentially the right person sent by God at the right moment for a specific purpose. Take a moment to let that sink in. I'll reiterate, your soulmate is the right person brought into your life at the perfect moment for a specific purpose. Many misconceptions arrive from the belief that there's only one person destined from birth to be your spouse, but the notion is flawed because it implies that those whose soulmates passed away at birth, fell ill, or faced other challenges would never find love. Do they not deserve a soulmate too? When you grasp this truth, it becomes a beautiful journey realizing that you're a masterpiece crafted by God. In His perfect timing, like a skilled artist, He'll bring the right pieces together to create something truly perfect. Watching an artist at work, you may not predict the next color or where the next stroke will land. Sometimes, a perfect hue gets marred by a brush stroke, and adjustments are needed. Occasionally, the artist may even start anew or add something entirely different. But in the end, there's a masterpiece where every element harmonizes. Likewise, God orchestrates our hearts to align with each other. There's someone out there meant for you. And if you trust God step by step, He'll bring you together. Sometimes, your soulmate may have been right under your nose all along, living nearby or attending the same school. Yet, like elements in a painting, the timing wasn't right for you to come together. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9 puts it this way, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. When you follow Jesus, you'll find that He connects you with the right people for your journey. These individuals might not seem like the perfect fit at first, and they might even act distant, but if they're meant for you, God will bring you together. To be real with you, I don't know when this will happen. It could happen quickly or might take time. They might even start a relationship with someone else in the meantime. 
There could be obstacles like distance, falling out of love, or mistakes that make it seem like a relationship is impossible. When you find yourself in such a situation, it can be tough to believe that God can bring back the person or relationship you thought was lost. But remember what God said to Sarah when she doubted his promise of motherhood in her old age. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, he asked, Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. He reassured Sarah that she would have a son. Sarah and Abraham welcomed their first child not long after. This was a clear demonstration that nothing is impossible for God. In the same way, no matter how distant your soulmate seems, regardless of past mistakes, confusion, or the current circumstances in your lives, God wants you to have faith. Speaking of faith, it can be challenging to believe when your past is filled with pain, abuse, heartache, and trauma. These experiences can often lead to deep fear and anxiety about relationships. We become reluctant to hope, to love, and to let ourselves be loved. This is exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy isn't blind to the truth in Scripture. Two are better than one. He knows God never intended for you to face life's challenges or fulfill your purpose in isolation. He understands the incredible impact you'll have on his darkness and the significant contribution you'll make to God's plan here on earth when you join forces with your soulmate. That's why he throws intense experiences your way, sometimes even manipulating you to make a mistake that leaves a lasting mark. Every time you face the consequences of that poor choice, discouragement, fear, and even feelings of unworthiness might cloud your heart. But take heart. The Bible assures us that God knows how to give good gifts to his children, no matter how heavy your past sins may feel. When you confess them and seek His forgiveness, He is faithful, cleanses you, and makes you new. In God's eyes, you are not defined by your mistakes. Don't let the past hold you captive or fill you with fear. Instead, choose to live in the present moment, trusting in God's promises for your future. Faith is the key, my friend. As you fix your eyes on Him, Believe that God is working behind the scenes and preparing that special someone just for you. Often, our frustration stems from focusing on ourselves instead of the Lord. We take matters into our own hands, searching for our soulmates on our own. But our ability to find the right person is limited. We can't see the depths of someone's heart, and deception is a real possibility. Someone might appear perfect at first, but time reveals the truth. Let's face it, searching for our soulmate on our own strength is like trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. However, by placing our trust in God and seeking His guidance, He lights the path and leads us to the person He has designed to walk beside us. Faith requires surrender, my friend. It means trusting God's timing even when you feel pressure to rush ahead. It means holding on when doubt creeps in knowing that he has a plan even when it doesn't seem clear. Remember Abraham. Despite being childless, well past the years when it seemed natural, he clung to God's promise that he would be the father of many nations. Even when he settled for Ishmael, God remained faithful, reassuring Abraham that the true heir, the child of promise, would come from him and Sarah. Faith isn't recklessness. But it also doesn't always follow human logic. It's about trusting God's perfect plan, even when we can't see the whole picture. So, what should you do as a child of God while you wait for your soulmate? To start with, put your faith in Jesus. Have enough trust in the Lord and take a leap of faith, relying on His character. I once came across a powerful statement by Charles Spurgeon that said, God is too good to be unkind. He is too wise to make a mistake. When I can't trace his hand, I can always trust his heart. Isn't that profound? When you can't discern God's plan, when it feels like his workings are hidden from view, at least have faith in his intentions for you. What does God's heart hold? Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, 
plans to give you hope and a future. This is God's heart, and He is trustworthy. He is with you. He will never let you down. Keep holding on to your faith, no matter what challenges you face. To strengthen and demonstrate your faith, focus on drawing closer to God through prayer, studying the Bible, and connecting with fellow believers. The firmer your foundation in Christ, the better prepared you'll be to face life's challenges. Additionally, as you nurture your faith, stay focused on deepening your relationship with God and fulfilling your purpose. A key place where your soulmate may find you is while you are serving in God's work. Just as Jesus did at the age of 12, decide to dedicate yourself to God's work. When you are committed to God's work, He will take care of your own affairs. Moreover, the person God brings into your life may also be a fellow believer, and God could be entrusting both of you to each other. Therefore, it is important to allow the Lord to prepare you for the work that both of you will be doing together for the rest of your lives. To prepare yourself for God's plan, take this time to grow into the best version of yourself. Let God work on refining your character, healing your past wounds, and equipping you for the future He has in store. When you and your future partner have gone through enough growth under God's guidance, you can establish a strong foundation for your relationship rooted in Christ, ensuring security within God's kingdom. Such unions have a higher chance of lasting compared to those formed without God at the center. Engage more with God actively participating in your local church, engaging in missions, serving your community, and allowing God to use you for His purposes. Don't pause your life while waiting for your soulmate. Pursue your interests, help others, and shine as a beacon of light. You never know who you might meet or how your experiences could shape you for your future partner. Remember, there is a unique gift within you, and your destiny goes beyond just marriage. It is about how God can use your marriage for His glory. Start with God. And together with your soulmate, you can create the beautiful union meant for you both. Nobody comes into your life by mistake. Did you know that every person who comes into our lives has a divine purpose? Yes, you heard it right. Every encounter God allows us to have in life is meant to teach us something or help us grow in some way. Even if we don't understand it at the time, there's always a reason why He allows people to cross our paths. Do you know what's even more amazing? God has a unique plan for each of us, and that includes the relationships we form in our lives. You just need to look beyond the ordinary and know that each plan God has for your life is for the best and to give you a better future. Allowing God's guidance will bring you where He wants you to be. So if you're currently searching for your soulmate, take heart. God has someone special in mind for you. All you need to do is be open to His guidance and let the Holy Spirit lead you in the right direction. You are loved beyond measure, my friend, and your future is bright. We all want to be with the person that God has chosen for us. God doesn't want us to marry just anyone. If He confirms someone for you, it's for the best. Your emotions might make you want to be with someone else, but that person may not be the right one for you. Why? Because God doesn't want your destined path to be disrupted. In this video, I'll talk about signs that show God is confirming that you are meant for each other. God can provide signs to show that you are with the right person, confirming that He sent them. If you want to know God is confirming someone for you, this video is for you. Listen until the end and please remember to like it and share with your friends and family. Number 1. Always wanting to be with the person. Imagine a force pulling you in like a magnetic connection. When you find yourself unable to stay away from that one person, it's a beautiful sign. You'll feel like you just can't bear to be apart from them. It's as if your heart won't beat the same without them. This is God's way of confirming that you found the right person. There's something truly special about them that draws you in. Perhaps it's the way they speak or how they make you feel cherished. Being with them makes you believe in love again. Remember, God only wants the best for you. These feelings are His way of showing 
that you were meant for each other. In those moments, you might fear that these emotions will fade away, especially if you've been hurt in past relationships. The haunting memories of previous heartbreaks may make you hesitate, thinking it will end just like before. You might even try to distance yourself from this person, but the feelings persist. That's God's way of reassuring you. He cares deeply for you and desires the best. He knows this person is meant to bring fulfillment to your life, so he keeps the flame of affection burning, whispering to your heart that this individual is the right one for you. Number 2. Elevated Passion for God Here's another unmistakable sign that God is confirming someone special for you, an ever-growing zeal for God. It's like an inner fire, a deep longing to seek God and understand His divine will. Being with someone who encourages this spiritual journey is crucial as it strengthens your faith over the years. 2 Corinthians 6.14 instructs us, do not be yoked together with unbelievers, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? This advice serves as a compass, reminding us of the importance of aligning our lives with those who share our faith. God's plan for you is always the best. He won't bring someone into your life who will lead you astray. He understands that being involved with someone who doesn't share your faith can divert your focus. So he guides you towards the right person who will bring you peace and contribute to your fulfilling destiny. When your partner shares your dreams, values, and beliefs, it brings a sense of ease and comfort. This alignment of faith and values strengthens your relationship and supports your spiritual journey. Isn't it reassuring to see your spouse embracing the same aspirations and beliefs as you? This is what God desires for us, happiness, peace, and a partner who brings comfort and joy to our lives. Number 3. Remarkable Patience and Harmony A clear indicator that God has set a special someone in your path is the remarkable ease and flow in your relationship. Unlike some forced connections, you'll notice that things progress naturally. Both of you embrace each other's flaws without struggle, regardless of who may be at fault, learning to forgive effortlessly. This harmony is God's way of affirming that you are meant to be together. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-7 explains that love is patient, kind, and not envious or proud. It emphasizes that love does not seek its own interests. It's not easily angered and keeps no record of wrongs. Love rejoices in truth, always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. This verse beautifully illustrates love, guiding you toward building strong and enduring bonds. It shows that love is about patience, understanding, forgiveness, and a commitment to always protect, trust, and hope in each other. Number 4. Indescribable Peace one unmistakable sign that God has orchestrated a union is the profound inner peace you experience, especially when you're with that person. When God intends for you to be with someone, you'll experience an inner peace. This peace might be so profound that even those close to you may find it hard to understand. You'll feel a deep spiritual connection because God has orchestrated it this way. When two people share the same spirit, their actions and thoughts align harmoniously. In the Bible, we can find the story of Abraham's servant, Eleazar, who felt an overwhelming inner peace when he met Rebecca, knowing she was the right person for Isaac. Similarly, Rebecca, upon meeting her future husband, felt an inner peace that confirmed God's plan for their union. Philippians 4.7 affirms this divine peace. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is a confirmation from the Holy Spirit, assuring you that God desires the best for you. When God is involved in your relationship, rest assured that He will work to provide comfort and joy in your life. Sign number five, harmonious understanding. When God ordains a relationship, there will be a natural flow of understanding between the partners. The relationship will be rooted in respect and trust, not forced or compelled. If you find that you're not getting needlessly angry or frustrated in the relationship, 
It's a sign that God's hand is guiding it. Mutual respect fosters understanding and enhances communication between both partners, reducing conflicts and anger and allowing love and respect to flow freely. Imagine a relationship where disputes and unnecessary conflicts are replaced with ease, respect and love. A harmonious understanding fosters open communication and empathy. When assistance is needed, it's willingly given without a sense of dominance on either side. When you allow God to guide your relationship, everything falls into place, and the right partner who loves and understands you will miraculously appear. Reflecting on Genesis 2.18, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. We see God's care and intention for meaningful companionship. He won't steer you into a relationship with just anyone. His love for you ensures that He desires the best for you. His confirmation may not only come from your feelings, but sometimes through witnesses like spiritual individuals and your fellow believers confirming His guidance. 2 Corinthians 13.1 says, Every matter must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. God's confirmation can come through different means. First, there's inner conviction, a profound sense of peace, affirming that this person is the right one for you. Next, external conviction surfaces when both partners share core values and beliefs, aligning their paths. Lastly, external confirmation involves receiving affirmation from fellow believers, collectively acknowledging the divine match. Dear Saint, it's important to seek God's guidance fervently through prayer, asking for clarity and wisdom in your decision making. Look for guidance in God's word and see if any verses resonate with your situation. Numbers 23, 19 reminds us that God is not human, that he should lie, not a human being, that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Additionally, when confirming the right person for you, it's helpful to talk to a trusted friend, family member, or spiritual leader for guidance and support. Lastly, pay attention to your intuition and listen to what your heart tells you. Feeling a sense of peace and joy when thinking about being with this person is a sign of God's confirmation for your relationship. Remember, God has a unique and personal plan for your life. Trust in His guidance and timing, and have faith that He will lead you to the right path. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're unsure whether to keep going or to stop? It's one of the most confusing spots to be in in life, not knowing what step to take next. It can be really frustrating. This is when you realize just how crucial it is to hear God's voice, follow His instructions, and let Him lead you. Beloved, Listening to God's voice is incredibly important in our Christian journey. We need to hear from Him because He's the one who created us. He knows every detail of our lives, and He knew every detail even before we were born. His guidance is what we need to understand His plans and purposes for each of us, especially in our relationships. God's ways are different from ours. His plans for our lives are unique and remarkable, designed to give us a bright future. When it comes to choosing our life partner, the most important thing to have is faith and trust in the guidance of the Holy Spirit. God is faithful and understands the complexities of every relationship we encounter. So, if God's urging you to hold on to someone, it means that that person is the best choice for you at that moment. Conversely, if He's prompting you to move on, it likely means you need to let go of that relationship. Relying on God's guidance will aid you in your life journey. His guidance is like a gentle whisper, encouraging you to hold on to that person because there's a future waiting for both of you. Beloved, today let us explore some signs that confirm God wants you to hold on to that person. Consider this video the confirmation you've been waiting for. The first sign is overwhelming peace. When you're with the right person, you experience a deep sense of peace within you. This peace isn't just about feeling calm, it's a divine assurance from the Lord confirming that you're with the right partner. He uses this inner peace to reassure you that you should hold on to that person. Sometimes you may feel anxious, 
stressed, or uneasy about a relationship. God knows that if you continue feeling this way, you might easily let go of that person, signaling that the relationship may not work out. However, there are times when God doesn't want you to let go of that person, so He gives you an overwhelming sense of peace that surpasses your understanding. This peaceful feeling helps you forget any anxiety you may have felt. Whenever you lack inner peace in your relationship, it's a sign that God doesn't want you to continue with it. But if you feel a sense of peace, it's a sign that God's telling you to hold on to that person. Exodus 33:14 says, The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Beloved, I firmly believe that God is always by your side, regardless of the challenges you may face in your relationship. His peace serves as a confirmation that there's fulfillment awaiting both of you. The second sign is a sense that God is telling you to wait for His perfect timing. What does this mean? Well, God's timing is perfect. His timing is tailor-made for each of us, ensuring a wonderful future. If you find that things aren't falling into place and you're unsure about the direction of the relationship, understand that God wants you to trust in His timing and believe that He'll guide you through uncertainty. So, patience is required. Isaiah 40.31 tells us, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I want to encourage you to trust that God knows the perfect timing for everything here on earth, including your relationship. So if He's urging you to hold on, why not wait for His timing? When it comes to obeying God's instructions and holding on to Him, you can rest assured that you'll never be late or behind schedule. Take Elizabeth and Zachariah, for example. They waited for so long, and eventually, they were blessed with John the Baptist. Waiting on God, as the Bible tells us, is always worth it. Sometimes we hear God speaking to us through a still, small voice. He uses this gentle voice to grab our attention and guide us in the right direction. If you sense this voice urging you to wait for God, it means He still wants you to continue that relationship with that person. Trust in His guidance and timing, for He knows what's best for you. The third sign is counsel from godly people telling you to hold on to that person. Dear friend, if God's telling you to hold on, you might also receive similar counsel from wise and godly individuals in your life. These individuals may have faced similar situations in their own relationships, giving them valuable insight to guide you along the right path. Sometimes they may be prompted by the Holy Spirit to speak to you about this issue, without knowing what God is telling you personally. That's how amazing God is. Notice how He's using this video to speak to you. Awesome, right? Seeking counsel from godly people who've navigated through their own relationship challenges can greatly strengthen your conviction to either wait patiently or move forward. Remember, the difficulties you encounter in your relationship are not unique. Others have faced similar challenges. Their experiences can serve as a beacon of light, helping you discern what God wants you to do. Proverbs 15.22 says, Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors they succeed. Having godly counsel during uncertain times in your relationship can provide the encouragement you need to stay focused. Sometimes it's challenging to discern when God is speaking, so this counsel serves as a conduit for God's guidance. What's truly beautiful is that this counsel may come from various sources, yet they all point in the same direction. For example, perhaps your pastor at church advised you to hold on to your relationship, even though it seemed uncertain. Then a godly colleague or friend echoed the same advice. Despite coming from different people, these voices align, speaking with unity. This is God confirming His message to you, reassuring you to hold on. The fourth sign is a vision of a lasting future. Many times our impatience can lead us to rash decisions, especially in our relationships. But God desires for you to truly get to know and understand the person you're with. Choosing to walk away from a relationship prematurely could cause you to overlook important aspects of your compatibility. Perhaps God wants you to spend more time getting to know that person. 
In the process of holding on to that person, you may discover aspects or values that were previously unseen. Especially if your inclination was to leave without considering the possibility that this person could be the one for you. God understands this, which is why He encourages you to continue being with that person. He knows that your compatibility will bring honor to His name. Our God is extraordinary, and His ways surpass our understanding. Remember, our God is a God of wonders. He knows there's a bright future ahead for us, which is why He guides us to avoid taking the wrong steps. His ultimate desire for us is our fulfillment and happiness. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. This verse serves as a reminder that while we may make many plans, it's ultimately God's purposes that prevail. God can communicate His plans for our lives through dreams and visions. For example, you may have a vision or a dream of you and your partner enjoying a fulfilling life together, possibly a godly home, beautiful children, and a marriage filled with positivity. A notable example from the Bible is Joseph, who had a clear vision regarding Mary's situation. In Matthew, we learn that Joseph was troubled when he discovered that Mary, his betrothed, was pregnant. He contemplated letting go of her. However, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream to reassure him. The angel said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child she carries is conceived by the Holy Spirit. This divine vision gave Joseph the understanding and confidence to hold on to Mary and embrace her as his wife, despite the extraordinary circumstances surrounding her pregnancy. Dear Saint, never doubt God and His promises. If He tells you to hold on to something in a vision or a dream, it's because He knows it'll bring fulfillment to your relationship. When faced with challenges in your relationship, don't be afraid to stay and work through them. Do you know God's plans for that person or your relationship? In times like these, pray and ask for God's guidance. Trust that He will make all things work together for your good because you are His child and He desires the best for you. In conclusion, remember that God's ways are higher than ours and unique, especially when it comes to our relationships. If you feel prompted to hold on to someone in your relationship, obey His voice, trust His guidance and timing, and have faith that He'll bring fulfillment. Embrace the challenges as opportunities for growth, knowing that they'll pave the way for a better future.